shit. You mm. you gotta take it that serious, and it's gonna show. It's gonna show with your pen. Nah, that's fire. And that shows niggas be on the right track and not even knowing it, cause that's that's the same thing I used to do, Banks. I started writing on a roof on First Street. It's a roof you can see right. the city on. I go back. I would go back to that roof every time I'll have a battle or every time I be writing or something. I go on that roof, smoke a blunt. And, but you know what? Sometimes too, I like to change location too, cause it's like if you pull a different result, I might want to go darker. I might need to be in a worse situation. I might yeah. need to be. I'm yeah, saying just, mentally. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, just I'm go saying, back. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. don't matter where I'm at. The further I get away from it, it just reminds me. You know, you think about home yeah. more when you get away from it. You, if you're amongst the shit, you don't think about. That's like when niggas be like, "Yo, it's, it's crazy in a specific neighborhood." You don't feel that way when you're there. Mm -hmm. You you wake up to that shit every day. That's that's normal. Mm -hmm. I actually, the, feel safer because you don't know these niggas. You like see that. what I'm saying? But yeah, to get sure. back into that zone. I don't, I don't know what it's going to take. I, I don't, you know, I know a lot of the and verb. I heard you say this a lot. A lot of it is predicated off of competition and being competitive, you know, so business ventures, people doing a lot of different shit and just don't, it's just missing the, 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 the competitiveness and just talking shit and, and create this shit is like boxing. Like a lot mm -hmm. of these fights have to be created. Mm hmm. They well, you got it. Well, 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 and this is what I think with the, I think sometimes the stories just go in line for us to do it anyway. You know what I'm saying? But I, we do got to sell the fight beforehand because when, when we talking shit, that's when the competitive gene come on. Because it's like, hey, you telling me I ain't what? Okay, watch this. Without that, it's like, that's why y'all don't be shit because y'all y'all too friendly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I talk shit to all y'all because it's like, I have to turn that up, shit bro. on. Okay, <laughs> no. Nah. I'm gonna fuck you all nah. over. That was that nah. was a hell of a time, man. Respectfully. It was a hell nah. of a time, man. Motherfuckers I, don't know what they up against. It's the same thing with with the mainstream shit. You know what I mean? When we came in, it was gladiator school. It was a hell of a time. But uh, you gotta find, you know, whether it's going back. I still watch certain battles every year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, give me give me five of the ones that you like. Well, well, just five battles that you enjoy. Or 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 what MCs do you see have that competitive in them that you see? Like, whether they good or not, they just got to be, like, you know, competitive. Who do you see it on? Like, this I one watch, will fight. I watch. It's, it's way more than five. But just, like, to name a few. Well, most recently, like I said, I, I like the performance your last one went against. Uh, uh, me and Ill Will came out yesterday. I didn't catch that yet. I, I you got might, You might want to go check that out. I'm going to check that link. Um, But, yeah, you and uh, what's – uh. The one I just said. A war pizza. <coughs> right. That was crazy. Uh definitely uh surfing big T. Yeah, that's one of them ones too. See, I like we going that. rappers, man. Come on. Yeah, keep nah, going. Nah, I mean man. it is what I'm just giving yeah, Come it, on, it's, talk it's, to these niggas. Read away. Uh shit. Surf surfing hitman. Now, come on, man. Let's uh, uh, we, we, we talking it, rappers. Uh, Original. Uh who we got? Uh T Rex. Uh T Rex and Ice Pack. Hey, look, look, originals. I, I, I tell you, you, you seen Eunice? Oh my nah, god. I haven't. Man, what the fuck is you talking Stop about? Don't make him anything. 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 Don't of course. You got a nigga like Jones who vouched for this nigga, and he's a new nigga. But we asked him the question. He said, no, no, that's no, it, I'm, man. Not, I'm not saying nothing wrong, but I'm just saying he has a No, no, no. And that's fine. What he's I'm saying is up, it just might not be somebody he's seen yet. That's, I'm just talking to Verb because Verb be, be trying shit on my nigga. Uh, no, I didn't. All I said, you said, do you know him? No, we don't know him. I'm telling you the real world. Yeah. You, I'm you saying know the him. He don't, though. Not yet. No, no I, I, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying the regular world is not going to, they don't give a fuck, man. But they will. You got to give a chance, bro. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, all right. So look, so look, okay. Let, well, just don't say that because we got to get into people that he know. You see the no, people he see, picked. No, I can see if he was. I can see if he was what we was talking about before. I can see if he was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? He he's swamping out. 
not you know Damn. showing up at the right times. You know what I'm saying? That's different. He's been showing up. It's that just, boy gotta show up. His, he got to get his plates up. That's all. Okay, he knew but, but how he going to be seen? No, no. He said no, Look, look hey, hey, look, man, let's no more talk about that. Let that man keep talking about who else he like. We ain't wasting our time on that shit. It's a nah, no. you just all said right, come he on, don't man. give a fuck about the new niggas when he just don't know some yet. Right, just, okay, so, just, okay, I look. Don't have, he just ain't reached the surface for me yet. That's it. He, you, I, look, 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 you got to Look, I ain't never walked up on Banks and said, here's my CD. My name is A-Verb, nigga. The but fuck? Nigga, you got to reach the surface. Hey, 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 but niggas used to do that. Yeah, but I'm saying I didn't. It reached the surface, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga used to do that. God <laughs> damn. You, it, it's a hundred ways to skin a cat, ain't it? If, if Ber- you like Berber that, we're going to get it. Verb is saying what he's been saying, which is that it's a class that's above, you know what I mean, that niggas that deserve to be looked at in the light on a different light. You know what I'm saying? 100%. 100%. And I, I agree with that. But that don't mean that, you know what I'm saying, it's fire niggas that haven't yet ascended still you know what i'm saying that that got the potential to they just got to put the time and the work in that's and all. that's all i'm saying the verb that's Man, all i'm saying they travel team you know what word. i'm saying like uh Doc Mall. <laughs> travel team like <laughs> like you said travel team that's motherfuckers be showing up it. motherfuckers show up it'll just, just be you you know what i mean like that's you know that's not how i came in the game like not saying it can't be done but you gotta have the support you gotta have your home with you. You gotta have all of that shit matters, man. Yeah, nah, just y'all niggas had that city a behind new artist for real. coming up on whatever card and just trying to convince niggas you the shit. But all of those things, you know, they go into play. Yeah, they yeah, do. Whether it be a hype man, if it's if it's ten motherfuckers wearing the same jacket, the same hat, yeah. whatever, you know, you it's crazy. Man, so I don't never on, have man. that shit, right? I don't never be having that, and like that's a prime example of why. The shit, especially recently, it'd it be like you got to damn near fight for the position you already earned again. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's but people the used the to see you like that, Jones. So it, it don't really apply to you. Like you came in the game that way. Yeah, you yeah, was the lone know. wolf. You know what I'm saying? So it's like nobody expects that. I'm saying like, you know, certain uh, certain people, even if it's just one person in the background, like motherfuckers don't even be having that. It's strength and numbers, no matter what. It's always strength and numbers. Like if a yeah. motherfucker see, like how Capo do, niggas show up in thirty bash money hoodies. Like you go and notice the nigga. Like like that's just how it works. But it still got to be good too, though. I guess people, you can't people just buying be looking. the movements. People buying the movement. That's a fact. And that's yeah, why, like you, Saint you Louis be was both. a movement. Jersey yeah. was a movement. Like it was, it's movements in the culture. That's like, yeah, now we want to see who's next out of there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and then if people don't come from 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 Carolina to come see you, Swamp, why the fuck would you ever be like me? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> what would you tell me? I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I ain't I going front. Magic, Magic got like he got about three battles I go to. Man, you Magic. got to. Yeah, you see it like that. Um, so arrived. Man, you see it right. Thanks. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's a lot of St. Louis. Louis Charlie. In your, that's Bates, a lot of St. Louis in your place. Say Rock Battle. Say Rock and Magic. You're, you got to check yeah. this new me and Tay Rock, Banks. Hold up. Did I see that? Yeah, yeah I got to check it. Yeah, yeah, I it just see. happened. Shook too, yeah. man. Shook my nigga, man. I got I, I got to I got to give it up to the people who just consistently made those moments, man. I don't Hey, I get it. Times are different now. But motherfuckers made moments, man. That's what yeah, I Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like we see too, man. Moments. Big T made moments, man. Yeah. And th- that's what this shit is about. It's about making your moments or making your... That's why you got to be rare when you get the lights on you. Not be like what he was. That's that's all something classic is for real. It's a moment in time. Mm-hmm. And you be like, yo, you remember exactly where you was at the first time you seen Yeah, mu- shit, music walks time. I-, I learned that early. You know what I mean? Mm. Word. This this June makes twenty years of my anniversary for my first album. Mm. Man, hunger for more, hunger for more, classic facts. Salute, man. Man. Hey, hey, Banks, why are you right here? Let's ask you this question: When you when you first got your album done, how did it make you feel when you got Hunger for More done? When you had to turn it in, was you like jittery? Like was it like what? Like when you knew it was really on? Nah, yo. To be honest, the the mixtape, the the mixtape movement. I got so comfortable with that. Like I was 
I was in red form, man. Like I was, man. And then I was around. I had the formula. The blueprint was already laid as far as like, you know, track listing and kind of mm. like how to balance out, you know, a classic Zero album. record and shit. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if, if you think about it, like it was all there for me already. I recorded, I recorded about 30% of that album out the country and about, yeah, I would say the other 70, like on the tour bus. <clears throat> so it was constant. It was constant movement, constant movement, but it didn't matter who I was at. My mind was on my, it was just back in my neighborhood. Like, that's mm-hmm. where I was at, whether I was on a bunk writing, wherever, because in my mind, it was like, you trying to like pack your whole life into 60 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But once that, once that album came out and it was received the way it was, it was one thing, right? Cause you know, I, when you when you smoking, you can sell shit on a stick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But ten years yeah, down the line, when you could perform them records. Fifteen years down the line, twenty years down the line, then you start <clears> understanding. <throat> you know, because everything was moving so fast. And I say that like with a lot of the young artists, like they don't even live long enough to be to 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 feel the love, right? So mm-hmm. your first your first twenty concerts, it might be about seven to eight of them shits might end early. Because based off your demographic, you know, I'm I'm 20 years old. So my, my demographic is from fucking 12, 13 to like yeah. 23, 24 at that time. So if you're doing like shows, predominantly it's going to be, you know, it's adolescents, young motherfuckers in there. People want to throw some shit. You know, they want to go home and be like, yeah, we the ones that stopped that concert or you know, so it was just about You the feel energy. like they more it's the energy in the room, ain't it? Yeah, it was just like we here. Energy. Even if you know, this shit is buzzing right now. This is where all the girls gonna be at, we here tonight. But what happens I, is ten years later, right? Ten years uh-huh. later, when them niggas is 30 now, they got kids now and shit, you start seeing the daps turn to hugs and shit. Like niggas don't yeah. even want to dap no more right. because like case in point, like recently, um, I had a show in Jersey, and um, it was this kid, man, and he was uh, like circling around the venue and shit, man. I could just, I saw like he was just anxious, and he was just telling me like, you know, what I meant to him and shit, you know, in his upbringing, and um, you know, I took a pictures with him, a couple videos and shit, and then maybe like, I say about two weeks ago, he got killed. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, so, so he ain't he ain't telling me that he ain't telling me what a song or how a song impacted him. He's telling me how my dream, you know what I mean, impacted mm. him. Mm. And then to that's why a lot of people be like, yo, stick to this or stick to a punchline and shit like that. As you get older, you you gotta kind of like add more into your legacy as far as leaving a message. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, okay, you know, yeah. I, I, you, you, hey, let me ask you this, Banks. Which one get the loudest reaction, Beamer Benz or Start It Up? Start It Up. Start It Up. Do it. <laughs> what you think? So, so I'm I talking think about. That in the, it up beat. Hey, hold on, hold on. So, Start It Up is it, it, it's, it's the biggest, way bigger than Beamer Benz or what? No, what no, 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 no. Well, you know, a lot of that plays into how I respond to the record. Right, 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 right. Fire. Yeah, well, that, that, oh, does what, that does what it does. It always does. I got fired with all them shits, my nigga. I ain't going to start it up. Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got fired, my nigga. But this, this is the thing. This is the thing, right, bro? Like, that's uh-huh. a good. That's a good fucking question, right? I'm because slick with this, John. I'm slick with this, man. It's two. It's two completely different things. You gotta understand, like, that's what I adjusted to to be able to reach the masses. But at heart. The records that influenced me, they they were, I don't want to say more organic, but radio was more receptive to I Got Five on it, mm. to, to Shook Ones. You know mm. what I mean? Like, it, it was no set formula of what was a hit record. Mm. Right. Right? So when I look back at certain records, for me, myself, they mean more to me than others because if I... I feel like I came in the right era, but at the same time, I feel like I could have been in the early 90s as well. 
Mm. Right? Sure. So, like, Shook Ones is, like, to me, like, the ultimate. That might be, well, for me it is. It's my number one rap record. That might be one of the hardest singles ever. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Single, like. That would never be a single today. Word. No, not today, no. Official Queens bitch murderers. Nigga talking about murdering niggas in the first four parts. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Grab me by your brain, stab your brain with your yeah. nose bone. You can't say no shit like that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You can't bone. say no shit. Like that. <laughs> that was biased. <laughs> so, 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 so wait a minute, is the drill era and that era the same? It's just two different types. Nah. Nigga, nah, no, 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 we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. It's the same violence. It's the same violence, bro. It's the same violence. Off the jump, let's murder something. It's the they same just scared to fight now. It's different. Right. Like, they yeah, were yeah. going to fight and shoot back then. Now yeah, for just, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they definitely ain't throwing nobody's hands. And, and, the, and the real gangsters, correct me if I'm wrong, Banks. The real gangsters in the 90s really wasn't rappers. Like, it was really niggas that was like, he, this is the rapper. These is the homies. Like it was mm -hmm. clear cut roles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the niggas, the gangster, the the rapper, the shooter, the the a scammer. He all five in one. You know what I'm saying? Where back Love then it was known. You, you come to a non show or some, you already knew that all these Queensbridge niggas is crazy. Mm, like, qualifications change. That's just a part of the whole thing. Like your entourage meant something because they knew them niggas ain't rappers. Yeah, mm. yo, Banks, how did it feel to get um? I think twice you were the mixtape champion, right? Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Justo and all that. How did it feel to get that twice though? <laughs> Shit was crazy, man. I, you know, it's crazy you say that because I'm I'm looking at that plaque right now. Mm. Good job. Like that, that shit. I want to be just though, though, my nigga, for real. That's though, a fact. Two, that's two a in fact. a row. Nigga, two in a row. Nigga, that's a salute, nigga. You know what? The, back then, mixtapes was so hard to be the man of. What? Everybody everybody was out there tripping, man. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> yo, listen, man. I was I was in psycho mode at that time, man. Niggas could say whatever they want. I was the most feared at that time. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we that's go. A fact, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's okay. a fact, though. That's a fact. Oh, Come on, man. So, so could none of them niggas fuck with you and your no, head? No, 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 no absolutely not. And the reason I say that Let's is because I, I didn't know what I was capable of yet. Mm. You gotta mm -hmm. understand, like I was so I was so rugged, like victory and shit like that happened just by accident. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's just me going, going, going. But in hindsight, I I knew how to make fifty bars feel like thirty two. Mm. And it was big, up. right? So, and that's and that's necessary. It's necessary that's even with like with battle rap, right? Because mm. you know, to me, I feel like cadence is the most important thing in battle rap, right? Because mm. nobody wants to be predictable and nobody wants to be duplicated. So I just try to find a way to kind of like okay, instead of doing a you know one two three four setup punch one two three four setup punch, I would do that, but then I would. I would take about six to eight bars while I would switch the flow up or, you know, do a breakdown and some shit like that and then come back to it and, you know, to figure out a way to, to make a... a to a stand out with it. Out. Right. Don't just feel like I'm just rapping a continuous sentence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, uh, Banks, man. And three, I hear you. I hear... I be... I watch three. So I be hearing you. Oh, why this and why that? And motherfuckers didn't want to... That shit with me at that time, man. Feel free to come on my show, Banks. I mean, I've only asked for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I've only asked for two years, Banks. Damn, three. I don't know, man. Banks, my nigga. Banks, my nigga, though. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, 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 Banks, watch that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you watch, you know, watch that nigga, man. <laughs> Off, officer three. Officer three. <laughs> yeah, watch that nigga. Yeah, nah, hey, but that, that mixtape era. Was the most dangerous time because you had to be skilled. It wasn't no plan. Like when put right. niggas put you in, we wanted to hear what you had to say over these beats. Oh. Like man, like I'm saying, what, that's wild. But when, when niggas played your when niggas when niggas played your diss, they wanted to hear how skilled did he get over this tweet beat, or how did he get over this this rough rider anthem? How did we we want to hear him get on it? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you and you didn't have long. You had a couple seconds to draw us in, and we was gone because it was mm -hmm. too much material out there. 
You can go mm-hmm. anywhere and get this shit. Like, let me hear what dude on. Oh, so it's hard to okay. dominate that time, though. Who you, you think right. was it? Who you think that was the next closest to you? I, I don't even think it's a fair question because I was outside of my. I wasn't. I was never in my demographic, bracket mm. age bracket wise. Mm. Right, I, and I could prove it. Like, what? Like, who would y'all? What box would y'all put me in as far as other MCs? Like. In that era, Fab, Jewel. Fab, I would just say uh, Fab. That's the only name I thought just now. I put him right next to each other. Fab. I always Jesus. thought the difference though between Which, that's what I'm saying. So everybody you name is older than me. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm. Uh, you you understand? So, that, so, and and the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, you know, it's a big difference from a a, a, a freshman in high school and a senior. Mm-hmm. It's two different worlds. I'm, I'm entering sure. from one world, and you you walking into a whole another vulnerability. Like you got to figure out what the fuck is going on after school. Mm. It's a big see, difference. See, we didn't even know though, Banks. You feel me? We didn't realize. You know what I mean? Like you was the youngest, and uh, and whatever. We just looking at it as one. When this is what I knew when y'all was out of here, and it was like once it was that, it was just that. I was in I was downtown and the Chinese ladies by uh, like by Wall Street outside the train had the mixtapes on the blanket and they were yelling like as if they were selling water or something saying that they had 50 cents G unit 50 cents 50 cents that's when I knew it was like oh nah these niggas is a commodity they selling these niggas like this shit is you know what I mean like this this was like a regular product, like you selling shoes or some shit. Like, let's go downtown, buy a bunch of G Unit mixtapes, and put them on a blanket. Facts. So it's Thanks. like, once I knew it was that, it was like, oh, nah, it's over. Like, wasn't 18 years old on Banks when he popped on the scene, right? 18, right? Yeah, it's yeah, he was 18 or some mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But I was never, you know, I wasn't presented as my age, if that makes sense. So it's like, you know, even to this day, like I see like collages, pick collages, it'd be like four boxes and it'd be like, you know, the usual mm-hmm. suspects, you know? And, and a lot mm-hmm. of people came after like with the mixtape market and the Just the Awards and shit, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like we got pushed out that box. So that's why I could understand what Verd be saying. It, it, it doesn't, <sighs> of course he gonna say it in his, his his manner is, you know, he's, that's his fucking personality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm I'm feeling the same fucking way. Like I was supposed to didn't get pushed out that box. It was supposed to be another banks to push me out the box. It was mm-hmm. supposed to be another kiss to push kiss out the box and another fab to push him out the fucking box. But the truth it, is, it, it, it never happened. It never happened. Well, so like, they, at least at well, well, least well, well, not well, at least not Wayne? from those expectations. What about Wayne? Who? Lil Wayne. Wayne. Oh Wayne, oh Wayne. No, we, Wayne, we, we, yeah, Wayne, but Wayne was, Wayne was his own though. Yeah. yeah, Wayne, yeah, Wayne is his own. Like, dang, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we ain't and got Wayne another Wayne before, yet. Yeah. Wayne yeah. came before these niggas. Think about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, Wayne ain't got an. It ain't Wayne been was since ninety six. Man, Wayne, yeah. Yeah. Wayne, Wayne was, was, up, he was following the script years, years after Jay, He's a man. chameleon. Was he was following yeah. the script and a oh. blueprint back then, though. He ain't breaking to himself till Lloyd was cutting up in old four. Exactly. Exactly. And then go DJ, it was like, oh shit, wait, hold up. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, my, go first, DJ. my first my first album. I dropped thought it was them squad up tapes, though. My first album That's dropped the same day, day as Wayne. Uh Hunger for More dropped the same day as Call the, Call the One. Call the One. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like them type of rappers, Wayne Banks, them, ain't nobody gonna move them niggas. Ain't nobody gonna really move them. It's like you gotta just come in and be your own version. But it is supposed to be another one with the with the auto tune niggas. It's always another one that come and knock him out the way. Mm. But that, that don't happen with real rappers though. It don't. No, right. it don't happen with real rap. So, real rappers get checked. Does that go back to what we were saying, my nigga? Being you is your superpower, bro. Mm. Can't nobody be you. Hey, I just seen the locks going on a, a fucking thirty year. Word, so that's fire. That's they fire about, the about to perform in Jersey. Not coming to Florida, but it's okay. Ninety four. Yeah. I think they said the tickets was like six hundred dollars or some shit. What for real, Jones? That's what they said. I don't know if you cap it or not. Yeah. So, so, so if you use your real ability, you can be somebody in the world. You ain't gonna be it being nobody. Else, right? And 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 the more people we have just trying to emulate, it stops everything. That's why, like, but the real, but it actually make it easier because the real rappers keep getting paid. The real rappers keeps. We don't have no competition because they real rappers. 
Like MCs, not, man. MCs, man. Yeah, like people that really care about what they what they write down. That's how, it, how it connects. Do it make sense? With this. He's going somewhere with this. Yeah. I know. No, I ain't, man. I ain't finna throw a shot at that peon. We talking about? We got rappers up here, man. We what the fuck? We ain't, nah. You we think you? Hey, verb. Hmm? You think uh, a lot of that shit changed the shift it? Because like battle rappers aren't always MCs anymore. Like some of these niggas just battle rap. Like they don't. They give ain't me an example. Do the song. Give, give give some examples. Um. Shit, if I want to go Swamp. far back, Swamp. uh Heartless. Swamp. I don't, I don't know. I done heard Swamp rap on songs. But no, like this... Swamp, though. Let's use Swamp. Said I. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> 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 Look, no, but like, uh, it's like some, <laughs> some of the wow, elements bro. as far as just like being MCs ain't the same as a nigga that just want to be a battle rapper. It's just like... It's just not the same. Them niggas can't like you. You'll find oftentimes like just flow, cadence, wordplay, uh, rhyme patterns, and different shit be void from their style because they not MCs. They just about. It's the same thing like when you get a punchline rapper when all he do is punch. You know what I'm saying? But then you got got motherfuckers that use banks as an example a nigga that could go crazy with the metaphors but still weave in and out of rhyme pockets and mm-hmm. and, and, and different shit like that like because that shit matter but then you got the one nigga that's just set up punch set up punch set up punch no life stories no nothing or whatever right. so I you think know what, you know that's what Ill? separate the rappers from the mcs and shit right this was ill right like i remember at one point i had this conversation with hollow like with certain niggas Back in the day, first of all, if you was an MC, if you was from Jersey, Philly, New York, anywhere even close to around here, maybe even other places, battling was just a part of what being a rapper meant. You had to have a battle. When it was another guy and another guy, they would make you battle. Record execs would do that. Yo, y'all go at each other. Let's see who the like. That was just the way to showcase your skills back then. You know what I'm saying? But now once niggas came up with this whole genre as a thing, once people saw niggas actually get on, actually get popping off being a battle rapper, you had people that now just wanted to be battle rappers. They're not right. even thinking about, you know, doing a tour and having an album and shows and all that. They thinking about, I'm going to get booked on Summer Madness or no, yeah. or whatever. And that's what their goal is. So they're not even studying all that other shit. They're not even listening to or, or trying to develop they whole MCness as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not thinking of themselves in that light. Do you think that's bad? Do you think that you lack somewhat as an MC if you don't do music? I don't think so. I if do you don't MC. study the arts of this shit, yes, you are you will how fail. Could, how could you be one of the best at you your craft if you arts. don't even study? Well, studying is one thing, but Agreed, actually bro. doing music is a whole nother thing. You know what no, I mean? No, you it's, it's still you gotta be able to do everything. You gotta be able to understand, hey. This is what the, the elements of hip hop is emceeing, though. That's one element of it. You got to be able to do that. You got to navigate that shit. Yeah, I, we got to be able to close our eyes and hear you. Yeah. We got to be able to, be, like, when you go into that shit, I should be able to close my eyes and see what you're saying. Like, imagine if you go to the Roots picnic and they say, we got a verb in the building. And they're like, hey, come to the stage. And you come to the stage and they throw a beat on and say, get crazy. And you sit there looking stupid, talking about, nah, I can't rap on a beat. Shit, you got your motherfucking mind. Turn that no, bitch just, on and let it go, y'all. motherfucker. Just battle, not... y'all. My bad. Like what? And they're gonna say, "No, nah, you're a joke." That's not what that is. Facts. But, yeah, Facts. you, you, you gotta know where you at. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know what's crazy? That's that's the biggest oxymoron I ever heard because I see like, mind you, I don't even be the one saying it. You know, Twitter go and people just start talking. But what the fuck did niggas think I wrote to? You say what? Like when you what? was writing your raps? Nothing. Yeah, like what Nothing. the fuck? Niggas, it wasn't even no fucking. I didn't have no instrumentals, nigga. I no used music. to write raps to windshield wipers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like nigga, you That's ain't even had no no beats. So. This shit, That's what right? I'm saying. Like my, the, you the had to just write. You had to write. Right. So what the fuck makes the nigga think I couldn't rap a cappella? This shit don't make no fucking sense. That, That's how I developed my flow was a cappella, nigga. Right. Niggas ain't have beats at first. And when I did rap over a beat, I used to have to cut on the radio and rap over, over the they rap. Over, over they rap. Yes. 
over they whole, we'll freestyle over a whole song while they rapping in the background. But but that's why we be locked in though. That's probably why we be locked in. Yo, bro, right. did y'all have J Arms and all that shit out there? J Arms, what is that? What would that be called in St. Louis? Remember the nigga? It was a nigga that started making instrumental. He was putting all that 30, 40, and 30. 30, 40, and 30. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, You'll be in the car riding and rapping like, oh, I can't wait to say this later. I used to buy a motherfucking single just so I could have an instrumental on that bitch. I already Man, got on. the album, nigga. Come on. And, and and now these little dork nerd rappers, they can just type it in and here it comes. But just but just when we talk about that, right? Imagine the passion that you have as a young nigga that's like, you so excited about rap. You buying a, a, a fucking single just so you could be able to rap over something mm. versus a nigga that's just like, all right, yeah, well, shit, if I get booked, I'm going to get, you know, you ain't even, you don't, you don't love rapping for real. Mm -mm. Like, how you going to beat the guy that loves this shit? You never will. Not the ones that got skill. No. Yeah. You know, it don't matter how good of a, a battle rap you is. If we come from the arts, it's going to be tough. You ain't put play. as many reps up, bro. Yeah, it's going to be tough. You, you know what I think you know what I think changed along the way too? Like when I was watching that television and shit, and I would see Big or Rock Kim or whoever I, you know, Nas, whoever it was, I never felt like I never felt like I could do what they do. Like when I was, you know, being introduced to them, I was inspired. I was like, damn, what the fuck is this? But I never felt like, you know, it's a certain type of respect. Like on yeah. some sensei yeah. shit. Like it's oh, that shit ain't around here. Yeah, it's yeah. a certain level of fear. Like I know if I punch this nigga, it's not going to hurt the way his punch is going to hurt me. Right? Mm -hmm. And then what happens is later down the line, I feel like a lot of the younger generation, they see shit and they don't look at it with that respect. They look at it like if he could do it, I could do it. Yeah, that's the era we in, Banks. Yeah. Right, it, if he it, could it, do it, I could do it. We come is that from a the gift same and place. A is that a gift and a curse, though? For who? Definitely a curse. Um, I, I would say for both ends, because I'm sure, like a lot of the veteran guys or the guys that been here for 20 plus years, is like, damn, these niggas ain't got no respect. But on the flip side, it's also like, man, they they confident. Like, is that it, is it can't just be negative, right? You can have respect and be confident. Right. So I'm saying to what he said, though, like. When they look at a guy instead of no, 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 no. I think I think you misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying it's I'm saying they're confident based off of based off of the 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 product that's being presented to them. They're not saying it like I didn't. I said I could do it because Nas did it because we both from <laughs> you feel me? We from right. similar backgrounds. I'm saying they're looking at that shit talent wise and saying. If he could do what I could do it, because he's oh, not got doing you, much. Yo, yo, Banks, right? Around that same time where y'all start, you know what I mean, taking over and all that, that was when I really started like battling for real, right? Like 2002, 2001, all that, right? right? I remember somebody said this specific thing to me. This started to be a thing that niggas would say when the internet and all this shit came out. You run down, because we used to run down on niggas with the CDs in the book bag. If there's 20 niggas on this block, that's where we going. We going over here. Yo, what's up? Niggas rap. We got bars. Niggas would say shit like this. Nah, yo, my man rap. We would be like, what? So so what that means? So tell them to come back. Like, they would use that as an excuse to really say, like, well, nah, we can't support your shit because I got my own shit. Once niggas started thinking like that, that shit really, that to me is what planted the seed that really fucked up where we at now. Once niggas said, well, I got a camera, I got an internet connection, I can do it too. Yeah. It'll never be the same. Yo, three, you still there? I'm here, cuzzo. What up? What, what was the first beat that you could remember hearing? Not just hearing, but the first beat that made you say, what the fuck was that? One DMC suck MCs. Okay. Mine, mine was two. It was uh, J. Rue, the damage that come clean. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm. Right. Three more, three more. So imagine hearing that shit getting off the dollar van on the Coliseum. Word. Word. What the fuck is those sounds? Right? Word. It was that and fucking uh, unbelievable. Biggie. Mm. Okay. 
Now, if you sit and, and think about <laughs> the unique sounds in each of those beats, it was like I used to bug my homie every fucking day because he had the, he had the uh, the single, you know, back then A side mm, B side, right instrumental. from Hot Wax on mm -hmm. the Avenue and shit. And you know, I'm so green to this shit, I don't even know where to get this shit from. And I used to bug him every day. Yo, I need that fucking tape. I need that tape. So what I'm saying is, we so far along from that time. You don't even hear music outside no more. Thanks. I remember when fucking Life After Death came out. My son, God bless the dead, he was we had he still had the boombox and he's walking around playing Ten Crack Commandments a hundred fucking times straight. Word. You'll never see that again. That was the box era, nigga. We had the Panasonic box, nigga, with the tape player, and you walked around. Maxwell tapes, Maxwell tapes, Jones and TD, TDK tapes, yeah. and, and Maxwell tapes. You had to, you had, TDK, you had to put the little, you had to put the little <laughs> tissue, 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 tissue. What about that cheap right, on that Memorex board? Tape Absolutely, pink on it. Word. Yeah. Memorex joint. Yeah, you had to take it. I, I love our arrow, my niggas. I love our arrow, man. Yo, <laughs> yo, three. This shit be written, man. You, right. you know, you know what came out the year I was born. Oh, what year you was born? Tell me the. I say what came out. What year you came, What year you was born? Nineteen eighty-two. So we're talking Fat Boys. We're talking Odini. Are we talking UTFO? Are we talking? What was the biggest album? Nineteen eighty-two. Oh, it gotta be. Oh, I got the Flash. I would think. Right. My bucket. Thriller. <laughs> thriller. Thriller. Okay. Thriller. Okay. Michael Jackson. All right. You know what else came out? Nineteen eighty-two. Mm. The CD. The CD was created. The in CD was released in 1982. Oh, wow. You know what else came out in 1982? Mm. The, the Air Force One. Mm. Wow. See how I come around, though? <laughs> wow. Hey, you, had the, hey, 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 you had the you had the rapper starter kit. You had the rapper starter kit. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Air Force One, a CD, a tape. That's right. 